Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this video, we will learn what is Flutter and the different advantages of using the Flutter. So without wasting time, let's get started. Flutter is actually a framework for building multi-platform applications from a single code base. Now this statement has a great meaning. Let's understand this one in detail. Consider we have written some application using a Flutter. Then same application can be deployed to Android for iOS, for desktop, for the web, and as well as for the embedded devices such as the cars and smart televisions. Flutter actually uses Dart language for creating the application. Flutter is developed by Google. The first version of Flutter was released in 4th of December 2018 and the Flutter 2.0 was released on 6th of May 2020. Let's understand what are the advantages of using Flutter. In this video, I will discuss 10 important advantages of using the Flutter. Let's start from the first one. Flutter has a cross-platform support. It means if we created application using a Flutter, same application can be deployed to Android, iOS, desktop, web, as well as for the embedded devices. Flutter actually uses ahead of time compilation that enables you to create the native application for any of the respective platform. This cross-platform support definitely saves your efforts, your time and money as well. Moreover, when we have some updation or bug fixing to be done later on in the application, you don't need to open multiple codebase because we have a single codebase. So we have to fix the bug in a single code even we have to update the single code base and that will be done for any of your platform. You might have a question that is Flutter only one having the cross platform support in the market? I will say no. There are so many platforms that has a cross platform support such as the React Native, Xamarin and Ionic. But big advantage of Flutter over them is Flutter is fast and it has a high performance. Flutter code is actually compared into the native machine code. So in case of Android and iOS, it is actually converted into the native ARM code. In case of desktop, it is converted into the native Intel machine code. And in case of web, it is converted into the native JavaScript code. And the native code given by the Flutter definitely has high speed and high performance compared to other platforms. Flutter is highly productive and saves you great time in application development. Flutter uses JIT that is just in time compiler in order to compile your program. Using JIT we get a facility called hot reload. It means whenever there is some updation or changes to be done in the code, you just have to save your code or whatever changes you have, it will update your app that is it will update your code during runtime and you can see the changes almost instantly without losing the state of your application. Flutter is highly flexible and allows us to control each and every pixel of the screen. So it allows us to create highly customized adaptive design that has a great look and feel on any of the screen. So it doesn't matter what screen you are using. You might be using a phone with small screen or large screen. You might be using a tablet, maybe a laptop or maybe a desktop. Or maybe you're working with the wave. So on every screen, you can have a great control of each and every pixel using the Flutter. Flutter has strong ecosystem. There are more than 350,000 Flutter applications created so far. There are more than 2 million Flutter developers across the world. And there are more than 20,000 Flutter and Dart packages available for creating your application. Flutter has extensive set of libraries. Pub.dev is an official website where you can find Dart and Flutter plugins. So over the Pub.dev, more than 20,000 libraries or you can say packages are available that ranges from creating the custom UI components, authentications, state management solutions and so on. Flutter comes with a huge set of built-in widgets that ranges from this simple kind of widget such as a text to the advanced kind of widget such as the dismissible. Each and every widget in Flutter is highly customizable. 
so that you can customize it for your great extent and you can use it in your application as per your requirement. Flutter is supported by almost all the basics to advanced kind of IDs such as the Android Studio, VS Code, IntelliJ, Emac, Eclipse and Beam. Out of these, VS Code is one of my favorite and I will be using this VS Code in all my entire Flutter journey. Flutter provides the dev tool which is the excellent tool for analyzing and debugging your application. I will create a special video regarding this dev tool in order to understand that thing practically in detail. But for this video, let's understand what are the benefits that this dev tool provides. Using this dev tool, we can inspect our UI layout as well as the state of your Flutter application. We can also find the UI junks and performance issue in case of your application. We can analyze our code and even check out our app size. The last one is Flutter is open source and it's free to use. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. If you really like the way I am explaining the concept, then don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.